Good morning. How'd you do last night? How'd you do with the least favorite book uh, question? Uh, I hope that was on your mind as you went to sleep last night. I, I know when I asked myself that question uh, uh, several years ago, uh, I really struggled with it. And I dove into my least favorite book and found out that it was far richer than anything I could imagine. So I, I, I hope I hope you accept that challenge. I, I hope that you spend some time uh, very soon over the next few days uh, looking at a book that didn't interest you before. And uh, and let me just suggest this. Before you do it, uh, before you open the book, uh, ask God to speak to you. And then go through it carefully, prayerfully, and, and see what the Holy Spirit does. So uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, different... Um, uh, interpretations of the Bible, uh, different versions of it, uh, and maybe a little bit about creation, uh, you know, because we get into these big debates over was the world created in one day or was it a thousand years or uh, we get into all sorts of entanglements over that sort of thing. And, and you know, one, one, one version of the Bible will say this, another version will say that. Uh, so I, I just want to linger on that for just a few minutes today and see if maybe Maybe sometimes we debate the wrong thing. So um, get yourself a cup of coffee or tea to start the day. Uh, I've got um, some peach oolong tea. I'm not a fan of uh, fruit flavored teas as a general rule. And I got to be honest, uh, this peach oolong was a sample that we had sitting in the cupboard and it hasn't convinced me any different. <laughs> I'm still not a fan of fruit, fruit flavored uh, tea. So uh Get yourself something to to start the day with, and I'd like you to turn to Psalm 90, Psalm 90 uh, in our Bibles. And um, we're not going to go through the whole thing. I just want to take a look at the first six verses here. Um, it's the prayer of Moses uh, to the Lord, and he says, listen carefully. He says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man, for a thousand years in your sight, but are as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood, and they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening, it fades and withers. It's an incredible statement of who God is and how he relates to his people and how he sits sovereignly in authority over all generations. So while I think the debate over which version is more accurate you know, we, we've got so many different versions. Uh, the NIV is a great interpretation. Uh, the ESV is another good one. The uh, Christian Standard Bible is another good one. And, of course, we have the King James, which has been around for quite some time, and a lot of people rely on it. Um, they, they're, the Holy Spirit uses them all. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, we, we think that maybe one version might be inferior to the other. Um, and then we look at the, our favorite version. We say, well, this one's right. And, and, you know, and that kind of has an influence on uh, how we read the scriptures and how we interpret them. And uh, so, you know, when we get into these debates about creation, um, how the, the character and nature of God and how it's rolled out in, in these Bibles and, and how they portray God and everything, sometimes we get into debate over little things and we lose the wonder of the creator. Um, in the final analysis, does it really matter whether it, he created the world in six days or in 6,000 years? And I know th this is important to people who think it of both ways, uh, but when we get into debates over things like that, when we get into debates over which translation we're using, we, we lose the awe and wonder, the majesty, the holiness of God and what he's done, and how, regardless of whatever time, he just spoke all this into being. It, his words m made the universe appear. Uh, and 
uh, and in Psalm 139 says that he's ordained our days when as yet there was not one of them. So God is so far beyond anything that we can comprehend, so far more beautiful than anything we can imagine, so more awesome than anything that, that can even occur to us that, that when we get stuck in the details, sometimes we lose sight of what a great God we have. And uh, I love the fact that he's a great God. I love the fact that uh, he can speak the world into creation. Uh, I love the fact that he loves you and me. And that if we know Jesus Christ is Savior, he sent his son to die for us. Let's don't ever lose that. Let, let, let's, let's enjoy our debates, but let's not that, let them become divisive or contentious. Uh, let's let them be a source of joy that we can learn from each other and grow together. Uh, so carry that with you today uh, and keep your eyes open and watch how God moves through your day. I love you. I miss you. I'll see you tonight.